Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with Grandstream Networks. Today's host is Phil Bauer, our fantastic director of marketing, and he'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and Phil will be able to answer them at the end of today's presentation. Phil, thank you so much for being with us again. We greatly appreciate it and enjoy um, all of the fantastic things you share with us uh, throughout the year, and we'll continue doing that. Meanwhile, I'm finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. All right. Thanks, Julie, and welcome. Thanks, everyone, for being with us. As always, my name is Phil Bowers. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Grandstream. And like we do pretty much every three or four months now, excited to be here and to sync up with uh, Microcom to uh, run a webinar to tell you a little bit about what's going on and, and what we're really focusing on here at Grandstream. Um, so we actually had our last webinar just about two months ago. Um, I actually went back and looked at what we covered in that one. It was some unmanaged switches, a couple of new access points. Um, so basically today's is really, as you can probably see here on the screen, I'm going to focus on our network switch portfolio today. Um, and if, um, <clears throat> if you may have loosely been paying attention to what we've been doing at Grandstream this year, I think it's safe to say that 2023 is the year of the network switch for us here at Grandstream. Uh, we started rolling out um, the GWN series of network switches uh, towards the end of last year. And now, as you'll see, we now, uh, with a product that's actually going to officially launch tomorrow. So uh, one of the things I'm showing you here today is actually not even officially launched yet. You'll get a little bit of a sneak peek Again, it will be officially launched tomorrow. Uh, but with that said, we now have everything from layer three switches all the way down to unmanaged network switches and a variety of each kind, layer two switches as well. Um, I'll talk as we go. Uh, there are a variety of additional switches that are also that we're developing that should be out here by the end of the year. So like I mentioned, it really is the year of the network switch for us here at Grandstream. Um, obviously with our background deep in VoIP and unified communications, and now our expansion to then also uh, provide networking solutions, Obviously, I think it goes without saying that a network switch is needed for almost the, all of the deployments in all of the categories that I just mentioned. Pretty much everybody in the channel needs network switches for most of what they're doing, um, especially you know now as Wi-Fi and wireless networks uh, become much more not just prevalent, but also critical in terms of their performance. Uh, network switches become really a critical element to making sure that you know any environment has a functioning network and communication system. So a lot of some of the switches in the presentation that I am using here today, which is going to cover our full network, uh, our full portfolio of network switches. Some of them we have covered before, and I'll just kind of mention them and go through real fast. Really going to focus on the new switches that we've launched here within the last month or so. And to give you a preview of that, those are layer three switches and a new uh, 48 port layer two switch that we are actually we actually just launched today. Um, and as we go through, I'll obviously focus on introducing those new models to you, but we'll also just kind of give you a good overview of the full uh, GWN series of network switches that we have uh, in our portfolio right now. Um, so just to kind of you know give you a little bit of an introduction. Um, our GWN, I've said this in, in these webinars before, our GWN series has become the and is the fastest growing product line for us here at Grandstream. Obviously, we're well known and, and have really built up who we are based on unified communications and VoIP. And that's not going anywhere. And we're continuing to develop and put out new products. You'll see a bunch of new VoIP and UC products the, uh, sec the rest of this year and then into early next year. Uh, but as I, you know, as we've talked about in the in the past, our mission and our vision at Grandstream is to be that one-stop solutions provider, to be able to provide one location where a reseller, uh, a or a business, an enterprise, anybody that is installing, managing, utilizing, um, 
you know, this type of network technology or network networking or communications technology that they can get every single thing that they need from one location and that would be Grandstream, whether they need unified communications, VoIP, networking, facility access, management platforms to bring all of that together, uh, the ability to have, you know, remote solutions to allow employees to work from home, all of that. That is something that we are very uniquely one of the few companies in the in the whole world that can, can offer all of that, a true one-stop shop for everything you're going to need uh, for all of your unified communications and networking deployments. Um, and so the GWN series, again, it's, 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 you know, we're talking a lot about it because, you know, it is, like I mentioned, the fastest growing product category uh, for us and something that we're really trying to build up to be, you know, another major part of our business along with unified communications. Um, and we're, the reason why we're spending so much time on it is because we're seeing a lot of traction on this. Um, and I think I've mentioned this in the past, we're growing uh, over the last four or five years, we've grown the sales of our networking solutions over 100% um, every single year. So with these GWN solutions, quick thing before we get into the specifics of these switches that we're here to talk about, some of the things that allow our networking solutions to stand out, a three-year warranty on all models. We offer a variety of free management tools, cloud, software, or embedded. Uh, variety, we could, I've said this before, we could do a whole uh, webinar just on the security features of our GWN, um, but we include a variety of enterprise grade security features that are all enabled right out of the box. And many of these things are um, protocols that our uh, many other, most other manufacturers in the industry do not support. Easy installation, the best example of this is with our GWN app, you just scan a barcode on the back of any device you wanna to add to a network and it instantly add it to your network. Remote management with the cloud platform I mentioned earlier, a uh, whole bunch of advanced features, captive portals, mesh, VPN, QoS, they can do whatever you want them to do. Like I mentioned also, um, or on the last slide, the ability to get it all from one source and that be us. And the great thing, as I probably have also mentioned in the past, is that everything we're talking about is in stock and available now. We've made some great supply chain uh, decisions over the last four or five years, and we have not had any uh, manufacturing, supply chain, or stock disruptions or issues at all during that time. Um, and to be honest, you'll go look at some other well-known in firms, vendors in the networking space, and you'll quickly find that their products are have been almost impossible to get over the last couple of years. Um, all right, so let's get into the actual switches. So these are the three main series of switches that we have available for purchase that have been released today. We have layer three managed network switches over on the left, the GWN 7810 series. That is the main new product I'm gonna focus on here today because that is brand new. It's being launched tomorrow. Uh, we haven't talked about it in a webinar with you guys yet. Middle column, those are our layer two plus managed network switches. That's the GWN 7800 series. Uh, there are eight models within that series and I'm gonna specifically focus on the two you see at the very bottom of that picture, uh, which are 48 port switches. That is the GWN 7806 and 7806P. Those are brand new, just launched today. So also gonna focus on those, but we'll give you a quick refresher also on the other layer two uh, switches that we have in that solution. Um, and then the past two webinars, actually, we've, we've talked about and got into detail on our unmanaged network switches, um, which actually I believe it's there are nine, nine, 10, something like that models. I believe that slide that I didn't update that. Um, but just we'll give you a refresher on that. Uh, those are both gigabit. Uh, managed or unmanaged switches and multi gigabit unmanaged switches. Um, and just to mention also, we're continuing to build out this portfolio uh, soon. Uh, within the next couple of months, we're also going to release a new uh, 48 port layer three switch. We have some layer three aggregation switches coming. Uh, we have some multi gigabit switches coming on the layer two and the layer three side. So there's a whole bunch of additional stuff in development. Uh, basically, by the end of the year, um, if not even sooner, we will pretty much have a switch to fill every need and every niche that might come up. 
So let's go through these switches again. Really going to focus on the 7810 series and the new 48 port layer 2 switch here today. Uh, I think everybody pretty much understands and knows how network switches are being used, so I can pass through that. All right, so let's get into uh, what I would say is the, the main attraction here today, uh, the GWN 7810 series. This is our first uh, portfolio or first series of layer three managed network switches. These will be officially launched tomorrow. They are not officially launched yet, although you can actually download firmware and everything for them. That's up on our website. Um, we basically, but like I said, we will officially announce them tomorrow. Uh, they, sh they are in our warehouses right now. I would imagine that um, the, it will be a week or so before those devices get out into your hands, potentially. Um, so again, our first series of layer three switches, as you see as we go through, and as I'm sure many of you know, these layer three switches are really kind of ideal for high performance, high bandwidth uh, deployments. So large enterprises, large businesses is really what comes to mind here. Um, so there are five models within the series. I'll go through and differentiate and break down the models for you on the next slide. Three of them have PoE. Two of them do not offer PoE. Uh, you're going to get eight, 16, or 24 ports depending on the model. And you're also going to get two or four 10 gigabit SFP plus ports, which is um, you know, a great addition to these devices that can be managed within the web user interface of these switches. Uh, they offer a few the command line interface. You'll see the uh, console port right on the front of both, all of these devices for that. Um, and they're also fully supported by our cloud management platform, GWN Cloud, or our software management client, GWN Manager. Built in QoS, advanced VLAN built into these guys. Uh, allows you to, you know, pro create some advanced network prioritization and segmentation. And then the thing over there on the right supports all the way up to 128 gigabits per second on the high end within the series. Uh, so again, with the switching capacity, which differs on the model, either 56, 112, or 128 gigs per second. Um, again, really giving you, especially on the high end there, the, the speeds and the capacity that you're gonna need uh, for those larger critical enterprise or large business networks. All right, so again, like I mentioned, there are five models. I completely admit that this is kind of a, a maybe a difficult visual way to differentiate them, uh, but I will do my best here for you. So basically, as you can imagine, as you move from the left to the right, uh, from 7811 up to 7813, uh, you're going to have more ports. The 7811, uh, of which there is a seven, a, a regular 7811 and a 7811P. The P model, uh, as goes with any of these here, has built-in PoE ports. That's what the P means. So, both of the 7811 models have eight gigabit ports. We have a 7812P. There is no regular 7812. It's just the 7812P, uh, which gives you 16 gigabit. Excuse me, 16 gigabit ports, all of them PoE. Um, and then you have the 7813 on the right, which is uh, gives you 24 gigabit ports. And the 7813P has all of them provide PoE. Um, like I mentioned earlier, all of these models have either two or four 10 gigabit SFP plus ports just built right onto the front of them there. Uh, two for the 7811s and the 7812P and four ports for the 7813s. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, we've got a standard for all of our switches, uh, 30 up to 30 watts per port for PoE. This is where the 7813P becomes a pretty cool and, and interesting model to point out. Um, so that model all the way on the right there, as you can see, we are, um, for ports one through eight on that device, it can, can, can provide up to 60 watts per port through the PoE. Um, so if you know you're using devices that require that you know higher, I think it's PoE plus uh, plus threshold to be powered, we have the 7813 with ports one through eight that can provide that. Ports nine through 24 on that device do provide uh, the 30 watts per port. 
All of these devices feature metal enclosures. They all can be mounted on a desktop, on a wall, or rack mounted. They all come with what you need for the, the rack mount kit. Um, you've got two fans on the 7812P, the middle model, three fans on the 7813P. Again, those are the 16 and 28 four port models that offer all PoE ports. Uh, you get either five, 10, or 14 link aggregations across these models. Uh, yeah, and I think, and again, like I mentioned on the last slide, you're going to get either 56 gigabits per second switching power with the 7811s. So you're going to get 112 gigabits per second switching power with the 7812P, and you're going to get 128 gigs per second switching power with the 7813s. So those are the five models within this uh, the 7810 series of Layer 3 network switches. Um, let's see what if the next slide is what I think it is. Yeah, so one thing while we're going through these that I do want to mention, as you can see here, there's no 48 port model currently within this series. Uh, we do have a 48 port model coming next month um, or potentially somewhere between the middle of September and the middle of October, we will release the 7816 and 7816P. These will be 48 port models that will simply join this series of five devices that I just introduced you to. So there'll be seven in the end. The reason why I'm specifically mentioning the 7816, again, as you can see in the picture, we'll have 48 ports. There will be a PoE version and a non-PoE version. This model has included in it a variety of enhanced reliability features that are actually not included in the five models that I just mentioned. Specifically, stacking. This is a really big one. Uh, allows you to, uh, it says 16 switches. I, I think we're still finalizing how many will be supported. Uh, we expect it to be 16, but just, you know, double, basically confirming that. Allows you to manage, basically combine up to 16 switches that can all be managed in one interface and allow you to use them all to create redundant backups between them. Um, they also have a variety of additional built-in We'll call them monitoring uh, management, automatic management tools that allows the, um, the the software running these devices to basically uh, go above and beyond in making sure that everything is always operating as it should. Fault detection, device protection, uh, dual boot up. It has dual system file redundancy, link aggregation, as we mentioned, storm control, a lot more. Another great thing about the 7816 is it will offer that intelligent control of the integrated fan, which will allow it to adjust fan speeds, basically to use the fan as it's needed, but not if it's not needed, uh, which you know really just kind of um, controls the operating capacity of the device and also saves you some money on its energy usage. So again, those, those enhanced reliability features will be available in the 7816, uh, which will be coming out in September. And that is again, a 48 port layer three managed network switch. These five models that I mentioned, again, will be fully in launch tomorrow. Um, and you should be able to purchase them or to get your hands on them this week. Um, and again, the 7816 will be available next month. Uh, just like all of our network switches, um, and I mentioned this a couple of times already, uh, we offer really, you see three, but there are really four main management platforms or options for our layer three, layer two switches. Uh, the GWN cloud, that is frankly what about 90% of our user base uses is GWN cloud. It's a free cloud platform, unlimited devices, unlimited scalability. Uh, does have a mobile app that goes along with it that allows you to control it and add devices remotely. Uh, so like I said, that's the most popular management platform for our user base. We also have GWM Manager, which is everything that GWM Cloud is, just packaged in a Windows-based software client, um, or excuse me, I think it's Linux-based software client that can be run on both Windows and Mac. Uh, it, that is just like GWM Cloud, fully free. Um, ideal for local server deployment, so put it on a PC on the network and use it to run the network that that PC is on. Uh, does support up to 3,000 devices, so that's a lot, obviously, but not can't say that it offers you the unlimited scalability that GWN Cloud offers. And then all these switches, at least the Layer 2 and the Layer 3s, can also be managed within the local web user interface. It's just 
uh, controller functionality software embedded into that. Um, and as you see there on the last bullet point on the far right there, and I mentioned this earlier, all of our layer two and layer three switches also have a command line interface. You see a console port right on the front. Uh, so if you are used to, and I know many of many people are used to setting up and managing these switches that way, we fully support it. Um, all right, I, these are some more or some slides to go into some more specifics on these layer three switches. Um, I'll just go through these pretty quickly again. Either eight in terms of PoE, you're going to get those on three of the five models. Any of the the models that end in P. Uh, currently, with the layer three switches, you get eight, 16, or 24 ports. Again, up to 30 watts per port. But as I mentioned, the 7813P through ports one through eight does offer PoE plus plus, which is up to 60 watts per port. Um, variety of great security tools, protection and encryption built in. We actually have a whole section of our data sheets for this product that is based on that. Um, I'll leave this up here on the screen, but really a lot of you know the higher end, the things that people are gonna be looking for from a layer three switch, static MAC tables, dynamic MAC tables, packet filtering, a uh, variety of authentication methods, ARP inspection, IP source guard, DOS protection, a uh, variety of different port security protocols built in, DHCP snooping. Um, looks like I've got the static and dynamic MAC tables on there twice. but So I think you get the gist. Lots of great, really high-end security features, pretty much the stuff that people are going to be looking for from a Layer 3 switch, all fully supported and offered in here. Uh, some great switching ca capability from these Layer 3 switches, as I mentioned, all the way up to uh, 112, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, my little uh, go-to meeting thing was covering up what I was trying to read, but some great switching capacity, 16K static dynamic and filtering support for MAC addresses, 4K VLANs, got a whole VLAN virtual interface built into it, variety of link, aggre or link aggregation support on all the models, spanning trees, et cetera, et cetera. Um, built in QoS, and this is, you know, I, I've probably said this here before, um, but we believe that we have one of the strongest, if not maybe the strongest, um, QoS algorithms within the industry. Um, and it's really because we've been working with QoS for about 20, over 20 years now, uh, because of our history on the VoIP side. Um, you know, we were one of the first companies really kind of working with QoS on the VoIP side. Um, so we've been building QoS for about 22 years. I'm not kidding. That legit since day one. Uh, so we, again, we have some great QoS that we've been able to offer on our VoIP products over the years. Um, and we've been able to really build a really strong QoS for our networking solutions as well. Uh, and that is fully built into these layer three switches, port priority, priority mapping, well, excuse me, priority mapping, queue scheduling, traffic shaping, rate limit. Um, and soon we'll have the ability to also auto detect and prioritize uh, traffic or uh, packets based on what type they are, voice, video, et cetera, et cetera, uh, which will basically all these features just give you maximum control over the traffic going through these switches um, and going through your network, allowing these switches to really control what traffic gets through, what traffic doesn't get through, what traffic is prioritized. Um, how traffic is sent out to the uh, devices, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so like I mentioned, to wrap up our 7810 series discussion here, these again are our first layer three network switches. Uh, because of the capacity they offer, the switching capability, the layer three support, um, again, really these are built for high performance um, deployment requirements enterprises medium and large businesses anybody that has a lot of different a lot of users a lot of devices that requires consistent and strong connections to all of those devices um that yeah that that is really the ideal target market for this or or also any business really that is just kind of always interested in having the most high performance network that they can that they that they can possibly get their hands on 
those are really the targets for these layer three switches. And again, like I mentioned before, we will also have that 48 port layer three switch that will be available in September. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick drink of water. All right, so now, so that was our layer three switches. Now we move over to our layer two plus managed network switches. The majority of these, uh, there are now eight models within the portfolio. Six of these models we've covered in webinars before. Uh, these were launched originally back in, I think it was November, December of last year. Um, and that included the 7801, 7802, and 7803. We now have added, uh, it's actually being officially launched today. We have added a, and you actually don't see a picture of it here on the slide, so I need to update that. Uh, we have added a 48 port version of our layer two plus switch, uh, which is the 7806 and 7806P. Um, so just to kind of take a step back at, and look more at the, the full portfolio of these layer two plus switches, there are now eight models, four with PoE, four without. The whole series offers you eight, 16, 24, and now 48 gigabit port options. Uh, the new 48 port model does have six gigabit SFP, uh, excuse me, SFP ports built into it. The other six models either give you two or four. Managed with the same plat the same options as the layer three switches, the embedded manager, GWM cloud, GWM manager, also supports command line interface, which isn't shown here. Built-in QoS, advanced VLAN support for IP version four and IP version six. And it should be pointed out that all these switches that we're showing you here today, all of our switches support both IP version four and IP version six. Uh, so again, these are the uh, the the three. Well, I guess it's the technically the six models you see on the left there: 7801, 7801P, 7802, 7802P, 7803, and 7803P. Those have all been out since December, so we've talked about those before. Uh, we've covered those here in a webinar before. Uh, again, the new model and the the one I'm really focusing on here today, uh, that because it's brand new is the 7806 and 7806P all the way over there on the right. As you can see, this gives us a 48 port model option for this series of layer two switches. Uh, this has been incredibly in demand. We've had some, a lot of service providers uh, that we've been working with to kind of test and get this model out, who have been waiting for this. So we're really excited to get it out there. Uh, really, Along, along with the layer three plus switches that we're gonna allow, announce tomorrow, really this is beginning to transition us into also being able to serve the mid to high end of the network switch uh, plat, uh, sector, shall we say. So anyway, the 7806P over there on the right, 48 ports, six gigabit SFP ports. The 7806P gives you all 48 of those ports with PoE. Uh, three integrated fans on that model, 400 watts max PoE power, um, and just like ev basically everything except for the 7813P that we talked about earlier, uh, 30 watts per second for the PoE, excuse me, 30 watts max PoE power through those 48 PoE ports. And this also, as you can see in the switching ca capacity, is a really a major uh, a up upgrades, not the right word, in, increase over what we were previously able to support within this portfolio. So that 48 port switch gives you uh, support for up to 216 gigabits per second, which is literally uh, four times what you get on the 7803P, <clears throat> even though it only has twice the amount of ports that that model has. So that's interesting to point out. So anyway, 7806P, see it on the right, new 48 port, layer two plus managed network switch. Also have the 7806P, which gives you 48 port network, excuse me, 48 PoE ports. Um, and here, so like we, this, this model, I guess you can see this, you know, 7806 uh, ends in a six. And previously we talked about the 7816, again, ends in a six that also has all of these features. Uh, that 7816 was the layer three model uh, that's going to have all of these enhanced reliability features. Here, the 7806 offers and supports all of those great features that we told you earlier the 7816 would offer. Um, so again, the any of those, yeah. 
stacking full support for up stacking up to 16 switches gives you the ability to have them up, set up and and utilized and managed in one interface re, uh, create backups between them uh, the stacking will be available in our next firmware upgrade for these devices i don't believe it's in the very first one that's available now but by the time everybody gets it out that should be fully supported gives you those enhanced reliability built-in software management maintenance protocols that I mentioned earlier, again, fault protection, variety of device protection, dual boot up, uh, dual system file redundancy, the link aggregation setup, storm control, et cetera, and the same uh, intelligent control of the integrated fan uh, that we talked about earlier with the 7816, also available here, really just allows the device to intelligently adjust the fan speed as it needs, uh, to basically save the device, both energy savings, but also uh, processing as well, so that it can focus all of that on your network traffic. So yeah, that was the 7806. And again, um, you know, same management platforms go for the 7806 and our layer two switches, as we talked about with the layer three switches earlier. Uh, GWM Cloud, our cloud platform, GWM Manager, the software platform, also the embedded, um, also has the controller functionality, so to say, uh, embedded through the web user interface. Also has, and it actually don't see it here on the screen for some reason, but this, these devices, these layer two switches do have the CLI, the console port, which does you to allow you to set up and manage them with command line interface. Um, and again, I think a lot of, again, same management um, platforms we talked about just now and with the layer three. Um, with these layer two switches, you have now four models with PoE, 8, 16, 24, 48 ports, up to 30 watts per port. Um, a lot of, pretty much the same security suite that we talked about with the layer three switches earlier, available here on these layer two plus switches. Uh, in terms of switching capacity, a little bit less than what we saw uh, with the, in terms of the uh, MAC address filtering, a little bit less than what we saw with the layer three. Um, eight link aggregation groups uh, across all of these models, excuse me, except for the 7806P, which as you can see, L3 is 27. Um, what else do we got? Again, built-in QoS, talked about it earlier, also available here on the layer two plus switches. Um, and these layer two plus switches, because they're you know a little bit you know lower in cost because they just don't offer all of the, you know, we'll call them super advanced management or control capabilities that the layer three switch does, but it still offers you really high end network speeds the ability to support, as we saw earlier, all the way up to 48 ports on one device. Really, these are ideal for a wide range of uh, deployments. Really, I think layer two plus switches, at least from what we see, are one of the more common uh, switch types used for, um, we'll call them medium to large deployments. Anything from an enterprise to a small to medium sized businesses, business, hotels and convention centers, schools, universities, healthcare, call centers, um, really all ideal target markets and um, consumers of layer two plus switches. All right, so that actually mostly wraps up what I had to, uh, what I plan to cover here. Just real fast, again, we've talked about these unmanaged switches in our last couple of webinars. So I'll just go through real, real fast as kind of a refresher. Um, so again, we started off by talking about layer three switches here today, then we talked about layer two. Both of them give you more, you know, the ability to have advanced control over your network, layer three more than layer two, obviously. Um, and here we have unmanaged switches. So these are truly plug and play. Um, these are, you know, as, as you'll be able to see, and you can see from the ports, generally less in terms of ports. These are, you know, really commonly used, I think, in small office deployments, home offices um, are, are really kind of where we see a lot of these going. But anyway, so the 70, the what you see on the screen here, I, let me take a step back. We have two different types of unmanaged network switches. We have gigab or 
traditional gigabit man, unmanaged switches, which is the the guys that you see here, and we also have the uh, we also have multi gigabit unmanaged network switches, which I'll show you here in a second, which we talked about here in the past. So the GWN7700 series are our series of unmanaged switches. Uh, we have the GWN7700, 7700P, all these models that you see here on the screen, which basically range from five all the way up to, um, oh, I completely forgot that we actually announced those models. Um, so let me, let, me, let me go slide by slide here. So I believe, I'm pretty sure that we have showed you these ones here before. These were the first series of unmanaged gigabit network switches that we launched. Um, that we've talked about in webinars before, either five or eight ports on all of these um, uh, models, and then either uh, four or eight PoE ports on all of these models, uh, plastic um, or metal enclosures on these devices, metal for the PoE models, plastic for the non-PoE models. Uh, we did over the last couple, I think over the last month, also add these four new devices to our GWN7700 series of unmanaged network switches. Uh, so now, again, previously we only had five or eight port models. Now we have 16, 24, or 48 port unmanaged switches. So again, 48 port switches, really one of, I think, the themes of our webinar here today. Um, we talked about a new 48 port layer three switch, Coming. We talked about a new 48 port layer two switch available now. And here's the 7706, a layer, a 48 port unmanaged network switch. Uh, so these are just, you know, more ports, more options, uh, eight PoE ports, or um, yeah, it looks like the only, the 48 port model is not PoE, uh, 7703 also not PoE. Uh, so it looks like within this series, the um, most PoE ports that you're going to get from these unmanaged switches is eight PoE ports, um, and that is from the 7702P there and 7701PA over there on the right. Um, so again, just some additional options for unmanaged switches. You can see here we've got now, what is that, five, nine different models within our gigabit unmanaged network switch portfolio. Uh, again, ideal for small to medium-sized businesses, home offices, Really because again, they're plug and play. There's nothing that really needs to be set up. They're super easy and fast to get going. Uh, they don't, again, provide you the control that you get from a managed switch. Um, but many cases, especially these you know, small, small to medium sized businesses or home offices, you often don't need it. I'm using unmanaged network switches here in my office um, at my house. Uh, so again, the and then the other Part of our unmanaged switch portfolio are these 2.5 gig multi gigabit switches. There are two different models here, uh, 7700M and 7701M. Uh, these are gonna give you either five or eight different ports. And again, that is all the way up to 2.5 gigs per second supported. On those ports, one SFP plus fiber port built onto these devices and up to 60 gigabits per second switching capacity. Um, these are obviously, and I'm, I think most people know, unmanaged switches are usually pretty small in size, so they're they're more for desktop and wall mounting, not really for rack mounting. Um, and both of these devices do feature a metal enclosure, and neither one of them has a fan. They they don't need it. Um, so yeah, those are the multi gigabit unmanaged switches, and with that we've pretty much and uh, before i go before i wrap up let's wrap up the unmanaged uh, or excuse me the multi-gig switches really the same deployment scenarios that we talked about earlier with those unmanaged switches but this is more for small to medium-sized businesses or home networks that are more high performance that require advanced features who are relying and often utilizing high speeds for hd video meetings large file transfers streaming media, home automation systems, smart home platforms, um, 4K video streaming or you know video games or anything like that. Um, that's really what uh, the, the types of deployments again, more high performance SMB or home network um, requirements are ideal for these 2.5 gig unmanaged switches.
All right. So with that, that actually wraps up everything that I had uh, planned to cover here today. Uh, really went through our entire line of current network switches. As I talked about, we have a whole bunch of other ones coming out by the end of the year. We talked about a 48 port layer three switch coming out next month. We've got layer three aggregation switches coming. We've got layer two and layer three multi-gig switches coming. Um, so there is a, a bunch of additional stuff in the, uh, in the pipeline coming out by the end of the year. Um, but just like really with all of our other product categories with these network switches, our goal is to, again, to be that one-stop solution, to really have a device, uh, a device in our portfolio that suits every type of need, every type of vertical, every type of requirement that might come up uh, from a network switch, all the way from un small unmanaged switches, all the way up to large layer three aggregation switches and everything in between. Um, I've got some slides here that go through the rest of our GWN portfolio, which I'm, we've talked quite a bit about, so I'll just go through them real fast. Obviously, in addition to the network switches we talked about here today, full series of indoor Wi-Fi access points, many of them Wi-Fi 6, full portfolio of outdoor Wi-Fi access points, two of them Wi-Fi 6. We've got Wi-Fi routers. We've got G We've got wired routers, which were actually just announced last month, and which we covered in our or two months ago rather, and we covered in our last webinar. And obviously, we've got all the great UC solutions that have built GrandStream up, and and really still are the core of our business. Um, so once again, that's everything I had planned to cover here today. Um, just went a little bit longer than I had planned, but probably a probably about a good time in length. But anyway. Um, you know, enjoy telling you all about all of our new, uh, our current upcoming network switches. Um, and yeah, with that, I will wrap up and turn it over to Julie. Bill, thank you very much for that wonderful presentation. You've given us so much information. We love it. And uh, it looks like I've got some questions for you. Uh, so let's get through those as quickly as we can. First one, what are some of the key features that distinguish the GWN series switches from other networking solutions? Um, so let me, I'm going to bring up a slide I showed in the, in the beginning. So okay. I think the, the entirety of the portfolio is really kind of one of the things that stands out to me. Um, I, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is we offer free management on all of these devices. Um, there is no option for paid management. We literally, like I mentioned, our cloud platform is, is un offers unlimited scalability. Um, so regardless of what your preference is, we also have the built-in manager. Um, so I think that that's the first thing that comes to my mind is the variety of free management tools that we offer for these switches. The first thing in the top left here is another big thing, the three-year warranty. Uh, from my experience, most other companies in this industry offer 12, maybe 18 month uh, manufacturer warranty at the most. We're giving a three year warranty on all, all GWM models, including the switches. Um, yeah, I, I think those are, are really the, you know, the, the first things in terms of how our switches stack up. Um, and what it benefits they'll they'll offer you. I, I think those are really the two of the biggest ones, the free management, the longer warranties. Um, when you get into the the management tools, that's where you know we also start being able to talk about being able being able to support and offer free unlimited remote management through the cloud platform, uh, the GWN app that we have that allows you to add devices literally just by scanning a barcode on the device. Um, so kind of all of those things um, go into it uh, of what, at least in my opinion, why our devices stand out and kind of how they, um, you know, the advantages they offer versus other network switches. Um, again, the free management, the warranty built into it, everything that that free management and the portfolio of management options that we offer allows you to do, which, like I mentioned, gets into remote management, easy installation, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what comes to my mind at first. 
Terrific. Thank you, Phil. Uh, let's go on to a few more questions here. How do GWN switches ensure low latency and high data transfer rates within a network? That is a very good question. And to be honest, I wish we had one of our engineers here. They could definitely provide you with, you know, the great answer for that question and, and what we developed and, and kind of the nitty gritty in terms of how it works. Um, I'll be honest, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm not able to answer that question. Uh, definitely something that I will follow up with and send over an answer um, for you on that. Sounds good. We can we can definitely uh, do that. No problem. Thank you, Phil. Next question here. How does the GWN series prioritize different types of network traffic using QoS mechanisms? The Q, so there'll be a field within the web user interface of these devices for QoS, and that allows you to go in and set it up, enable it, um, you know, prioritize the type of traffic you want to prioritize. Um, so yeah, it's all fully and very easily set up and manageable just through the web user interfaces of those products. Thank you so much. Next question here for you. How do the GWN series switches address redundancy and high availability requirements in network design? For sure. So the first thing that comes to my mind is I think the stacking feature is really going to be the big thing there in terms of redundancy. Um, we, and, and in case I wasn't clear about it, currently we do not have any switch. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Currently the 7806, the one that we launched today, the layer two uh 48 port switch which i will just go to right now uh this is the first product uh first switch that we have that has the stacking feature built into it, it does allow you to combine up to six of them one interface create root backups between them um this is the 48 port layer three switch that i just had the slide up for that'll be out in september that will also have this stacking feature built into it and many of these switches that we will launch later on in the year the additional layer three switches and additional layer two switches will have the stacking built into it as well so i think that's the most direct way to talk about it um, there are also a variety of ways if these are the models are deployed through our GWN cloud or through our management platforms that you can kind of create backups between the devices or redirections in case something occurs with one device. Um, but I think the stacking feature is, is the most direct, um, probably the main thing that I, I think people are looking for on that front. Excellent. Thank you, Phil. A few more questions here. How often are firmware updates released for the GWN series switches and what improvements or enhancements do they typically bring? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. And I wouldn't say that there's like any type of set schedule in or frequency in which we release new firmware updates. Um, I mean, we we try to do it as infrequently as possible because we know that you know you you put something out there, you're running it on a firmware, put out it, you know we don't we don't want to screw with that stuff. So we definitely make sure that when there are new firmware upgrades, that they are legitimate enhancements. Um, we're we're adding features and functionality to make the device better, um, not just to you know change a little component of the interface or you know a color on the web ui or something like that um so i i guess it's hard to give an answer uh, in terms of like the frequency of the firmware upgrades i would say that no more than maybe a, ha a couple of times per year um and again, you know, when we're doing it, it's we're actually we're adding features and functionality to it um, when we're coming up with new firmware. And also just to point out, all the firmware is always free. We're, you know, and it includes those upgrades that I, I talked about. Um, so especially, yeah, so that's, 
I guess a general kind of ballpark answer on that question. No, that's good. Thank you so much. A couple more here still. Um, do you see grand stream switches in residential applications or more commercial applications? Um, that's a great question. I would, uh, I'm going to say commercial. Um, and, and I think that's, to be honest, I think that's really just because that's the channel that we have set up and that's our current user base. I, I think our traditional core Grandstream customer is a probably a medium business at the end of the day. Um, your traditional offices we're now doing you know we've we've starting to see a lot of hotel deployments around the world we're seeing a lot of educational deployments um and we combine those two i think specifically with you know the traditional enterprise or office um space that's traditionally that's that's who our channel goes after that's who we target um so i think that's that's our biggest customer base for these to be honest, they're also the ones buying the most switches. They're also the ones buying the more, the most expensive switches that have the highest profit margins for all of us. Um, I, I think that the unmanaged switches are something that we came out with uh, to fill out the portfolio. Um, it is, frankly, it is a great awareness play for us within the switch space um, because it, pretty much allows you allows us to go you know right after and have an alternative for something like TP link or Netgear which are are actually some of the you know best selling within uh that best selling switches but also have a lot of um awareness or usage within the residential space so i think what i'm saying there is that our traditional audience and, and who I think are the bulk of who's buying these and who will buy these, it's commercial and your traditional business deployments. However, we are hoping that those unmanaged switches kind of do help us get into um, basically form relate, start to form more relationships with residential service providers who would need these types of unmanaged switches. Um, I think that's really a kind of our long-term target for those. Um, but we, you know, you ask anybody here and we'll tell you that we fully expect the layer two, layer three, the managed switches, the more business grade switches to, to be the bulk of the sales in this portfolio. Excellent. Thank you so much, Phil. Uh, last question here um, regarding switches, of course, but this is a, this is a little different. Do you have switches with fans that are on the quiet side? That's act, that's a great question, and you'd be surprised how often we get that question. Um, okay. I actually am almost positive that our team, we don't publish this information currently, but because we've gotten the request so frequently, we are looking to publish on our data sheet some type of spec about the amount of noise that it makes, um, which in our experience is, is very little. You can, so anyway. Um, so it's a it's a very common question. It is absolutely a valid concern. Um, we are looking to publish a spec that would address that. We don't have anything currently. Um, so keep an eye on our our data sheets. And next time in our, in our next webinar, hopefully I can give you an update on that. Terrific. No problem, Phil. Thank you so much for answering all of those questions for us today. And thanks to everyone for attending this webinar. And if anyone has any further questions, of course, please feel free to contact your sales rep or you can email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view any of the products mentioned or shown here today, please remember that this webinar presentation has been recorded and will be updated to our microcom youtube channel so we can all view it again phil thank you so very much for your time and all of your information you shared with us today we're looking forward to it everybody take care and have a fantastic day take care everybody thank you phil bye-bye see ya